Hey guys, so I have a quick video for you just to answer some questions that I've been getting um, from a lot of people. I'm not going to individually respond to them, so make sure you watch this video. Okay, so um, first of all, if you are not scheduled for the second session, you do not need to attend tomorrow's meeting. As in Monday morning, you do not need to be there. That's only for the people who are scheduled for second session. As far as the training goes tonight, that is also optional. You do not need to be there. It is open to anyone. Um, no matter what session you're teaching. But those of you who I've assigned to teach parent taught this session, you know who you are, you definitely need to be there. If there's anything else that you're unclear about how to teach, now's an opportunity to show up. You'll be paid for it. So show up, ask the questions, and I can help walk you through those things. So things like dives, um, a lot of people are not confident in doing dives, and so they can't teach dives. So show up and I can teach you, and then you can be more confident teaching. Um, with the schedule I sent out, the formatting is a little bit funky depending on the way you're viewing it. So if you have like a night mode or night view or whatever where the screen is dark, it shows up with the, if you're not scheduled, like as a black line, but also has some things written in it. That's just from last session. It's the formatting's weird. Ignore it. Um, if you have on the little schedule green or red, that means you're teaching. Okay. If it's a black line, you're not teaching. If that's an issue or if you're not supposed to be scheduled, please let me know. Um, Nevea has been very patient with me and she told me about a million times that she cannot teach the session and I still scheduled her. So those of you who have a break at any point, um, I'll probably be adding another student or another class to your schedule because I made that mistake. So, so sorry, Nevea. I will fix that. Um, with the schedule a couple of questions have been about um the p so if it says p4 p3 p whatever it means that you're teaching a private lesson okay um so it's just that one kiddo so scroll down to the bottom of the email and the the level and the student's name is listed for that private lesson everybody else you'll learn who your kids are tomorrow remember we're doing something slightly different as in we're going to have all of the kids together in a level and then you're going to kind of pre-assess them, see where they're at, and then divide them up between the instructors based on um, kind of ability wise. It doesn't mean you need to change them levels. It might be like we have some higher level threes and some lower level threes, but they still fit in the level three category. So we just divide them up. Okay. Um, with that, we do have a couple more changes. Once again, read through the email. There's forms that you need to fill out anytime you make a level switch after Monday, um, after that first day. And then there's also a form for parents to fill out for makeups, and they're going to be coordinating that with you, not with me. Um, other than that, I think that's everything. Let me know if you have any questions. You guys have been doing great so far. Thank you for your patience. And um, I will see you tomorrow if you are scheduled for session two. Okay, bye.